So in this Insight tutorial video, we'll be showing you how to import a configuration file directly from a flash drive into the FIP. So firstly, we need to insert a USB flash drive into the USB port, which is located on the processor card. And the processor card is located at the rear of the display. You also need to ensure that the write enable switch is over to the right. Now select the controls and other events tab and then select activate controls and then enter the access level 3 code double three double three double three and then submit. Now select the engineer options tab and then select configuration and then select import or export configuration and you'll see the file that's sitting on your USB drive and import that. Obviously don't forget to do the right enable switch and then press the import. If you go to the other events tab you'll see that the configuration is loading and then you'll see saving configuration displayed on the screen. Once the configuration has been saved, you will be shown a fault condition on the panel, and that is a system fault. And to remove this from the system, you just press the reset button to clear down the processor reset fault. You will then notice over in the other events tab that it's now starting to initialize the loops. And once this is completed, they will then clear down. Don't forget, for more details on the Insight product range, please check out our website at www.insightfire.com.au.